Now we're moving on to conditional statements. Now you could think of conditional statements as an if else scenario. For example, if you go to the store and you want to purchase a drink and the drink cost $2. Well, if you have $2, you're going to be able to purchase that drink. If you don't have $2, then you won't be able to purchase that drink. That is a condition. So the condition there is based on the amount of money you have. We can take these conditional statements and we can run if else. We could also run if else if else and build upon these. Now it'll all make sense when we start putting it together in our script here. So let's go ahead and just do that. Let's make a new line and let's make a comment here that says conditional statements. And let's start with a conditional statement. So a conditional statement is going to start off looking like a function. So we'll say define. And here, let's make the same scenario where we talked about the money and buying a drink. So we'll define drink and we'll just say a parameter here of money. Okay, and then let's indent and let's say if money is greater than or equal to two, remember we talked about $2 for this drink, then we're going to return you've got yourself a drink. Now, what if we don't have the money? So we could say else, if our money is not greater than or equal to two, then we're just going to return no drink for you. Didn't mean to capitalize the O there, but I'm leaving it because I like it. So in this situation, we have our condition set. Now again, if our money equals or is equal to or greater than two, we're going to get a drink. And if not, we're not going to get a drink. So it could be anything else, right? So what we can do now is since this is just returning and not printing anything, we can print out something like drink and then we specify the amount. So if we have three, we should return one thing. And if we print drink here with only a dollar, we should return another. So let's go ahead and save this script. And I didn't put this with an ampersand, so I'm going to close out and make sure I do that next time. And what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and Python three script.py. And you can see down here, we go back and let me run this script with the ampersand. You can see that we did a drink of three, which we were expecting to return. You've got yourself a drink and we did a drink of one, which we were expecting to return no drink for you. This happened just the way we thought it would. So we can build upon these conditional statements. Let's talk about a different scenario with multiple parameters. Let's say that you are an adult and here in the United States, if you're an adult and you want to have a drink of alcohol, that requires you to be of age at 21. So in order to purchase alcohol, you have to be one of age and two have money. Now, if you don't drink, that's perfectly okay. This is just a example scenario. So here, let's say we wanted to buy alcohol. We have to meet that age requirement of 21 and we have to meet the requirement of money. Now we could be in a situation where we meet the age requirement, but we don't meet the money. Or we could meet the money requirement, but we don't meet the age requirement. Or we could be in a situation where we don't meet the age requirement and we don't meet the money requirement. So let's set this up to think through this and how these scenarios could play out. So let's define alcohol here. And we need two parameters. We're going to say age and money. So first statement here is going to be our leading if, and we're going to say if age is greater than or equal to 21, because we need that condition to be true. And our money is greater than or equal to five. So we'll say a drink costs $5. We're going to return. We're getting a drink. Okay, now. Since we're going to have multiple conditions here, we're going to introduce something called 
else if. Else if here is written like this, E-L-I-F. So else if our age is greater than or equal to 21 and our money is less than $5, then let's return, come back with more money. We need another else here because we have another condition, right? So we're going to say, what if our age is less than 21 and our money is greater than or equal to five? Well, we're going to return. Nice try, kid, because we're not old enough to purchase this drink. And then lastly, in our else scenario, if we are not meeting any of the conditions above, which means we won't have the age, we won't have the money, then we're just going to return year two, if I could type, sorry, year two, poor, and too young. So let's go ahead and run this a couple different times. So let's go ahead and print out alcohol and we're going to give our two parameters. So let's say 21 and five. Let's print out again alcohol. And let's give a parameter of 21 and four. And then let's print out one last time of alcohol and we'll say that we are 20 and four. So we should meet a few different conditions here, right? So at 21 and five, we should return we're getting a drink. At 21 and four, we should return, come back with more money. And at 20 and four, we should return, you're too poor and too young. Now, if you want to add in a fourth condition here or a fourth print statement, and you want to return the nice try kid, you're more than welcome to do that as well. So go ahead, hit Control S or save your script out. And then let's go ahead and run it. And you can see we return exactly where we thought we were going to. We're getting a drink, come back with more money, and you're too poor and too young. So this is it for conditional statements. Hopefully this makes sense. Again, our conditions are based on certain items, right? So money here, for an example, if we have the money, we're getting a drink. If we don't have the money, we're not getting a drink. And then we can build upon that. We can have multiple parameters here. So if we're not old enough to buy a drink or we don't have enough money to buy a drink or we don't meet any of these scenarios, different things can happen. What you need to be thinking about as a developer or programmer or even writing these scripts is all the scenarios that could happen in these situations. You got to think of the logic behind it. So when you're building out a script or you're building out your first program, you need to think logically. If I make an if statement or a conditional statement, what's the logic behind it? So a lot of times, for example, in this scenario, we might have thought, OK, well, if I don't have the, the age or the money, OK, but you got to think about what if I do have the age, but not the money or I do have the money, but not the age. So you have to think through everything in your head and make sure that it's all clicking. And this just takes repetition and just sitting down the best way is with sitting down with the pen and paper and not writing this in code form, but just writing this in a, a sense that makes sense to you, thinking through it logically and then writing it out in code. So from here, we're going to go ahead and move on to list in the next video. So once you're all caught up here, let's go ahead and move right over there.